Hi everyone! I'm Lee from the UUCSC and today I have a story about perspective. It's called the Magnificent Red Bud Tree. It's a Jataka tale from India and it's retold by Faye Mogensen in her collection of short stories and wisdom tales. I hope you enjoy it. So once upon a time, long, long ago, there were four brothers and they were princes in a royal family and their whole life they had been told the story of the magnificent redbud tree. People told tales at, around the fire at dinner time of this beautiful tree that everyone had to see but it was down a long and dangerous road and so the young princes were never allowed to visit it. Until one year, the oldest prince found himself alone in the chariot, driving through the mountains, and he said, this is my chance. And he called up to the chariot driver and said, excuse me, could we take a short detour so we could visit the redbud tree? <gasps> the driver gasped. That was a long and dangerous road but he understood the young prince's desire to see that beautiful tree. And so he agreed. And so they made their way along that long and winding track deeper and deeper into the forest. And finally the chariot stopped and the young boy got out. And soon he found the one tree that was different from all the others in the forest canopy. But when he saw it, he was very disappointed. He was so disappointed that he didn't know what to say. So he didn't say anything, not to the driver and not to his brothers when he got home. But if his brothers had been a little more observant, they might have noticed that the prince was a little more sad than usual. So a few months later, the second brother found his chance he was alone with the chariot driver driving through the mountains and he said, excuse me, can we take a detour to visit the redbud tree? The driver <gasps> gasped again. That road had been long and dangerous and it was still just as dangerous as when the first prince had asked, but he understood that this second prince also wanted to see that beautiful tree and so he agreed. And so, they found themselves winding their way down that long and winding track, deeper and deeper into the forest. And finally, the chariot stopped and the young prince got out and he found the one tree that was different from all the others in the forest canopy. And when he saw it, he was, his breath was taken away. He was so in awe of the beauty that he saw. He was so in awe, in fact, that he couldn't even speak, not to the driver and not to his brothers when he got back home. And so his brothers didn't know what he had seen, but if they had been more observant, they would have seen a new quiet joy in that young brother. And so a few months later, it was now the third brother's turn and he found his chance. He was driving with the chariot driver through the mountains when he called up and said, excuse me, can we take a detour to visit the redbud tree? And now the driver groaned and thought, oh my, that road is so hard to travel, but I've showed it to the first two princes. It's only right that I show it to the third one. So he agreed. And soon they found themselves winding their way along that long and winding path through the forest. And finally the chariot stopped and the third prince got out and he looked around and found the one tree that was different from all the others in the forest canopy. And when he saw it, he was disgusted. Blech. He got back in the chariot and he said nothing. And he walked in back home and he didn't say anything to his brothers, but if they had been more observant, they would have noticed that he had a unsettled distaste for life. 
after that day. So, you probably know what happens by now. It was the fourth brother's turn, and what did he do? He was in the chariot with the chariot driver, and what did he call up to the chariot driver? Excuse me, can we take a detour? I want to see the redbud tree. Okay, the driver just said yes right away. He knew it was coming. And so they found themselves winding their way along that winding forest track deeper and deeper into the forest until finally the chariot stopped and the youngest prince got out. And he found that one tree that was different from all the others in the forest canopy. And when he saw it, he was confused and disappointed. But he also started laughing. He thought it was so funny. He laughed all the way back to the palace. He laughed when he got inside and his brother said, why are you laughing? And the youngest brother said, I finally saw the red bud tree, but it is such a ridiculous name. It doesn't have red buds. It has big, long beans. It should be called the bean tree. And his young, his older brothers looked at him and said, what are you talking about? And the oldest brother said, I saw that tree and it was nothing to look at. I think it should be called the dead tree. It was just old branches. It looked like it was dead. I don't know what people have been talking about all this time. And the third brother said, no, no, you guys are all wrong. When I saw it, it had big green leaves, but instead of leaves like other trees, its leaves looked just like spinach. Yuck. It should be called the yuck tree. But the second brother said, friends, what are you saying? That was the most beautiful tree I have ever seen. It really is a magnificent redbud tree. And his young, his older brother and his younger brothers looked at him and said, what are you talking about? And he said, when I saw it, it was covered in magnificent, beautiful pink blossoms. I would go back to that tree every day if I could. It was so beautiful. And now the princess started arguing because all of them were sure that they were right. They had seen it with their own eyes. How could their other brothers be so blind? Now the king and the chariot driver watched these brothers as they argued and fought over who was right and who had seen the real tree. And the king and the chariot driver, they knew what had happened. Can you guess what had happened? They all saw that tree in a different season of the year. And so in the winter, it looked dead. In the spring, it had its beautiful blossoms. In the summer, it had its leaves. And in the autumn, it grew big, long bean pods. And so it turned out that all of the princes were right. And all of them together, made a full story of that tree in all of its seasons. And so that, my friends, is what I invite you to remember, is that it's hard to have the full story of a person or a place or an event. You just have your one perspective. And if you listen, you can hear the stories and perspectives of the other people who also witnessed that same thing. And then together you can make a more complete truth. So I hope you have a blessed day. Goodbye.